morning guys, welcome back to Derby Kite and there's uh, blue skies it's uh, later in the evening now or the afternoon so it is uh, starting to cool down a little bit it's been quite a warm day today for money so um, got a few little other jobs done but what I want to get done today is my fish in my last video I said we've seen a couple of them having a couple of flashes they haven't been too bad but I've seen them um, doing another couple of flashes still so uh, great opportunity I've been wanting to get them out for a little while so I'm gonna get a couple of the fish out um, three maybe four something like that we'll see um, check them over give them a scrape and a measure up and, uh, I've got especially there's a couple I want to get out which I bought um, it was last year I bought several fish from various various how many one from two dealers I've done videos on them if you want to check them out um, so I want to check how they're, how they're doing and uh, see how they're doing with growth wise. Looking at them, a couple of them have put quite a bit of size on. So um, it's a great opportunity to get them out. And while they're out, I'll give them a scrape. So um, we'll spin you around and we'll have a quick chat about some of the fish. And uh, some I'm really happy with, some of them not so much. Uh, but we'll spin you around and we'll talk about them. Right, we'll have to sit down here. Hopefully we can see these. Um, obviously those are the enemy goldfish um, that's my kahako bought last year I'm very happy with that one obviously Henry uh, that one is a Sankey I bought from I bought them in 2019 um, I'm rather disappointed in it to be honest he's a uh, great temperament on him where's he gone there he is down there but he's just not pouring any growth on as I say as a probably two or three in here bought from a, a reputable supplier and I'm just not over happy with their progress um, colouring wise he's lost a bit of his colour and he's just not putting any size on at all um, they was sold to me as a quality Japanese koi and to be honest I'm not convinced I think I was ripped off to be honest um, to be honest if they were Japanese, they're a very low grade. Also, that Kuhaku there next to where is he? There he is down the bottom. I can't see him now. I've got a my other Kuhaku just come round there. That Kuhaku there again, not putting any size 2019 again from the same supplier. And he's lost so much color. Um, extremely disappointed in that one, um, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so not happy with him at all. That one. And my other one I had from the same supplier, if I can see him over there, just see he's my Goromo. Lovely colouring, I do love his colouring, his patterning. Let's see if I can get round here and sort of catch him without scaring him off. Uh, where is he? No, I don't think we're going to catch him too well. Oh, there he is. Just there. Again, he's just not putting on any size at all. Um, he's hardly growing at all, but I do love his patterning, I must admit. He's, it, he's turning more, we've got more sumi on him. There he is down there. He's got a lot more sumi on him than he had. Uh, he's lost a bit of his uh, redness or the Benny type colour he had, but I still do like him. Again, same supplier. And to be honest, I won't be going there again. I'm going to stick to the uh, two the other two that I use or the some of the reputable ones out there I wouldn't I would use uh, I know people have had fish from others uh, and unfortunately I do know other people have had fish from that supplier uh, and they've had the same sort of problems uh, when I bought those three I actually bought him I actually bought five at the same time and I say that wasn't that cheap for their um, size they were toes eye but they wasn't cheap toes eye by any means it wasn't the most expensive but it wasn't cheap uh, and unfortunately two of them didn't last um, I lost two one disappeared I don't know if that was a predator attack or what um, that was a, a butterfly kaya board and again he when I first bought that one he had fantastic patterning and coloring on him but unfortunately he didn't last um, and I think I had another Sankey at the time um, but yeah he just didn't last at all he was taken ill couldn't figure out what was wrong with him tried treating him and unfortunately he didn't make it but luckily these three have but I'm just to be honest I'm rather disappointed in them 
Uh, the other ones I've got or had and I'm happy with. Um, I bought two from Just Koi and I bought several from LE Koi, which I've done videos on. Um, I bought my, where is he, if I can find him. Uh, and he is just coming round now, my Ginrinku Haku. Oh, just shot off, there he is, over there uh, from Just Koi in Birmingham. And he's coming out lovely. I really do love that, the patterning on him and his colouring's fantastic. And the one I'm really impressed with, to be honest, there he is, my Sankey, the big Sankey. He is, I bought him at the same time, around the same size. He's put so much weight on and size, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's the two I had from just Kai. And my other ones, uh, I've got my Shishui over there. Where are we? My Kikikuru and my Platinum Ogon. And obviously Henry. I had those from LE Kai. And I'm exceptionally happy with those. Um, so what I'm going to do... I had Henry out recently and checked him over and measured him up so he's okay. So I'm going to get out, I'm going to try and get my, uh, the Big Sankey, the Kikikuru, try the Platinum Ogon and maybe the Shishui. If I can get those out today I'll be happy. Um, and maybe at a later date I'll get my um, Kahaku out. See how we go. The other little, the little Kahaku down there, measure him up. He hasn't put as much white a size on as the Sankey has, but I think he's going to be a nice fish still. So, as you can see, I've got things set up. I've got my bowl set up with water in. I've got my net uh, and my pad to kneel on. And if I need him out of the water for a reason, a nice soft pad. So, that's where we are now. And that sun's getting quite warm now. Um, we'll have a quick look at the temperatures. As in my last video, if you remember, my temperatures did drop. I think it was about 12 degrees. Um, wow, this morning that was just over 16 and we're up at 18 in the pond, that's absolutely fantastic and hopefully we can keep that this week because uh, over this bank holiday weekend and next week I think there's some really nice heavy, uh, nice warm days so we can keep that temperature up. So that's where we are, so I'm going to see what I can catch first. Get them in the bowl, um, measure them up, check them over, give them some scrapes. So, be back with you in a minute. Okay, let's start with the uh, Ginrin Platinum Ogon. So, we'll give them a quick look over first. Okay, there, see so if we can flip him over. He's looking fine, no problems at all. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful condition. So, in the measure, I said when I had this one in June last year, it was 28 centimeters, and I say he's at 30, tad over 35, close to 36 centimeters. So, he's Hasn't done bad at all, seven centimetres in uh, less than 12 months. But we didn't have a great summer last year, so uh, that hasn't really helped his growth. Hopefully this year we can get a bit more growth on him with the sun. A bit more warmth. But it's absolutely beautiful, that one. Right. So I'm going to give him a scrape and get him back in. And we'll get some more out. Right, didn't find anything on the Platinum Ogon, so uh, get this one out. This is the Sankey. I had this, another one from uh, Just Koi, and I think it was, was October 2020, and it, uh, I think it was around 30 centimeters. So let's look him over. Got 
Ja. Nein. Ja. Was? Looks like nice underneath. Can't see any marks on him. Looking lovely. Let's measure him up. And this one is again just under 36. So he's put about uh, six centimeters on since last October. We're trying back going for the winter. So I'll give this one a scrape. See if we see anything. Okay, there's nothing on the Sankey. So I've got the uh, Kiki Kiru. Quick check over. All looks fine, it's a quick measure. Uh, while I get wet, thanks for the shower. Uh, 36 I believe, and I think, what was he when I had him? I think he was uh, 26, so he's put 10 centimeters on since last June. So, quick scrape. And keep him still. Okay, the uh, Kiki Kiru, another one that was uh, clear. So I don't know what's, uh, why they're flashing yet, but we'll check him over. That's for sure. He's looking fine. Actually, I'll measure him up first, just thought. <laughs> he was, uh, what was this one? He was 28 from another one from LA Koi. And again, 36. And that was since June. So just, uh, just under 12 months ago. Yes, uh, let's get him back in. Right, um, yeah. that's them four out. It's late evening now, so um, light's starting to go a little bit. Managed to get it done, um, what I wanted to do. Found nothing, absolutely clear. Um, so, don't know why they were flashing, to be honest. Uh, obviously, I haven't found any parasites yet, so that's one good thing. Could be many things for the flashing, I suppose. Um, it's changing weather. Um, you know, recently I've had a lot of rain up in the last couple of days. Uh, temperatures have gone up now, so it could be that. Um, could be getting frisky. Um, that could just be itchy. I get itchy just like we do. Um, so yeah, everything's fine. Uh, all being well, they'll stop the flashing, um, but I will keep my eye on them. And if, if it does get any worse now, uh, I'll get them out again, but I don't, you know, I got them out today. Um, I didn't want to get them out just because of the couple of flashing. I have been wanting to get out and measure them, uh, especially those four from having them last year. So it was a perfect option to get them out, check them over, give them a measure up and uh, give them the scrape. But as I said, thankfully, completely clear. Uh, so that's it for now. So all I've got to do is clear up all this, uh, get all this stuff away. Uh, give that a bit of a clear up. And I've got to have a play with Bisley. He's desperate for a game of football. Um, that there was one of his toys. And uh, woke up this morning, and the living room looked like a uh, explosion in a cotton factory. <laughs> there was white stuff everywhere. So he had a good time in the night. 
Uh, so I, did, uh, I didn't tell him off. I couldn't tell him off. I had to laugh. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. In fact, look. If you can see, there's some bits of it here, and over there, there's little <laughs> bits of it everywhere. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for now. Um, yeah. So don't forget if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Don't press. Forget to press the little bell to get your notifications. Um, don't forget to share it if you can. And I have got a Facebook page, so pop on over to the Facebook page, say hello on there. Uh, so that's it for now. So until the next one, stay safe. Jobs are good.